Hi, my name is Kim and I'm with the Jack Richardson Company. Today I will be showing you the basics of canvas stretching. Some of our tools that you'll need, we have uh, three different uh, pliers in which to stretch the canvas. This is a four and a half inch uh, canvas plier, really great on big pieces. Otherwise we have the two smaller ones. Um, I'm going to use uh, this particular pliers today. But what I wanted to tell you about is that uh, we're working with an artist canvas today. A lot of you who are in the digital imaging may be doing some uh, printing on canvas. And so when we're lining up our canvas, you want to just make sure that it's nice and straight, whether it's uh, a cotton or a linen canvas, just make sure that it's straight. But once you get into your digital imaging, or even a banner that you need to uh, stretch, you might run into uh, the, the gallery wraps and you might have a border. So when you're lining this up, you need to make sure that your image is nice on the edge, on all sides. You're not gonna get that when I'm showing you on this artist canvas, but this is something to keep in mind. You also will have the opportunity to do a gallery wrap where the image is going to come all the way around so the blue would be on the edge and that would make it a little bit easier for you. It's just that when you have that contrasting uh, border that you have to just make sure that you do line up nice. The other thing is um, I believe in having your work nice and clean and neat on the back. Um, it just gives a nice representation of your work as a company uh, so that it looks good. You'll also see before I get into the stretching, this has wood keys and on this one I will be using best keys here. They both allow for uh, canvas um, tension adjustment um, and we'll get back into this but I'll, I'll start into that. But that's, that's a digital image on canvas. So to keep it simple, pretty much just squaring it up. Yeah, put a staple there. And I'm gonna pull that fairly taut. Actually, I can do it just strong enough with my hands there. And you'll just wanna pull. Sometimes it will fall out because I pull a little hard. The other thing about this is that you do have like a little hammer on the back. You can always tap the, the staple back in. Just want to make sure that you're it's becoming nice and flush, trying to get some of the wrinkles out there. It will come out as you continue around the, the piece itself. You'll find that different canvases stretch differently from one another. I'm going to go around to this side. The other thing too, which is a, a good little hinter, is to Pull and kind of move out towards that. That'll prevent any sort of wrinkling as well. And I'll be moving that way a little bit.
thing to keep in mind once you get closer to the corners, and whether or not it's a horizontal or a vertical image, is where you are going to make your corners, or how you'll make your corners. Just for an example, this being the vertical, I'm taking the um, the corner and wrapping it around the top. If it were to be a vertical image, again, it would be over the top. So you try to keep that nice and consistent uh, for the for the image itself, for hanging the picture so that the way that it looks when you're coming into a room up against the wall so that it's consistent. You don't want it all messed up. So I will attempt the corners now. So we'll just pretend that this is indeed a horizontal picture. And what I'm going to do, it's almost like a military corner in a way, pull that up, I'm going to tuck that in, fold it down, and I'm going to bring this over so that it's nice and tight. I'm going to pull this. So that's giving you that nice corner. So we would have to do it again over here. Kind of the pull back so that it's flush or level, horizontal with that. Fold that down. That's too much. Sometimes it's tricky. It's not nice. 